ABC's Jobs Ambassador. When ABC started the series Money Jobs, they knew how important the construction industry was to Wisconsin's economy. Business was booming and new workers called apprentices who received both on the job and in classroom training were in hot demand. And then the coronavirus struck. The construction industry adapted almost immediately. And so too did the apprenticeship training, which is still ongoing for these money jobs. These are the before pictures. The apprenticeship world was moving forward, business as usual. There were no hiccups. Our apprentice numbers had been expanding statewide. Um, ABC alone contracted more than 400 new apprentices in 2019, and we were on track to do about the same for 2020. A normal apprenticeship in Wisconsin was basically, for us, it was eight hours a week that, you know, students would come into the classroom and we would cover the theoretical materials. It was in the classroom, face to face, in a, you know, in a seat, behind a computer, at a desk. Lee Emmerich from ABC and Greg Phillips from Blackhawk Technical College were part of the apprenticeship renaissance in Wisconsin. More people getting trained to jump into the construction industry's money jobs. Frank Thomas was teaching apprentices, fueled by his boyhood fascination. I started as a youngster um, being very, very, um, probably, how could you put it, interested in electrical energy to the point where it landed me in the hospital. But then came a vastly different medical issue. This one not fueled by child's play, but a covert enemy that upended the American economy. What happened was the COVID virus made its way to the U.S. And like the rest of the nation, we were following the coverage. We were, you know, just watching it. And I truly do not think anybody had an idea of what was about to happen. It was determined that construction was an essential business. Work would continue even as much of the economy was shut down. The Wisconsin Bureau of Apprenticeship Standards looked for a determination on whether the talent pipeline for this essential industry would also adapt to new safety practices to ensure wellness. In a nutshell, it was like you can either suspend the apprenticeship and we'll pick it up later, or if you can figure out a way to continue to deliver the curriculum, we'll work with that as well. Well, that was my ticket to say, let's not you know, suspend it because then you guys got to go another semester, you know, could add on to the end of your apprenticeship. Any idea of shutting down, postponing uh, classes was not even on the forefront of our minds. The apprenticeship team worked endlessly uh, to work with the college staff, our instructors, to keep the apprentices on track and get them to complete school for the rest of the rest of the school year. Just as construction workers on the job site are adhering to new sanitation, social distancing, and wellness standards, apprentices are adopting those protocols for field learning and a new way to do classroom training. We were already working with ABC to kind of take a different approach to apprenticeship in general. I mean, I love the Wisconsin model, don't get me wrong, but I do believe it's a little antiquated. We, we live in the 21st century and there are better ways to deliver curriculum that not only satisfy the needs of the apprentice, but also benefit uh, the contract. So ABC apprentices moved to an online learning management system to allow them to stay on track and others to follow in their digital footsteps. But I can tell you that construction is deemed as being essential and those apprentices are still working and those apprentices that um, are entering the workforce, they will still have a job and a career. Mm -hmm.